Let's now look at some exponent laws. So we're going to look at some different rules for exponents. Now remember what we mean by exponents. Let's say we have something like a to the power of m. Well then we're going to define this as this right here, that's going to be called the base. And this right here, m, is going to be called the exponent, sometimes called the power. So if I say to the exponent or if I say power, I mean the same thing. So this is a to the power of m. That means you multiply a by itself m times. Now in math, though, we're not just limited to sort of regular integers. We can deal with all sorts of things. So I'm going to give you some general rules here, so sort of some, some tricks here that we like to use for exponents. The first one is this. So I'm going to write these in blue, and then I'll give you some examples for each of them. So let's say I have a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So do you notice I have the same base? So basically I'm taking something, you know, same base, but multiplying by different exponents here. So a to the power of m times a to the power of n. That's going to be equal to the same base, so a to the power of, and this time, even though you multiplied the values, you can say it's the same thing as saying m plus n. So this is one of the exponent rules here. It's this one right here. So let's maybe do an example or two from these. So let's say we have, um, let's say, 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 4. That's going to be the same thing. Instead of calculating 2 to the power of 3 on your own and then calculating 2 to the power of 4 on your own, so 8 times 16, you can actually work out what it really is. So in this case right here, you use the same trick. So that's equal to 2 to the power of, and because I'm multiplying these two exponents here with the same base, so I've got 2 to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 4, I'm multiplying them. This rule tells me I can take 2 to the power of 3 plus 4. In this case, it's the same thing as saying 2 to the power of 7. That's the same thing as this. We can do another example. Um, actually, no, you know what, that's probably enough. I changed my mind. Let's do another rule. There's another rule, so if it goes a to the power of m, but this time we divide them. So a to the power of m over a to the power of n. So when multiplying added, maybe you can guess that dividing them, you subtract. Or maybe you didn't guess that, but in any case, that's one of the rules here. So that's the next rule. So, for example, let's do one. Let's do, um, well, we don't have to have numbers. Maybe we do letters. Let's say x to the power of 5 over x to the power of 2, let's say. Well, that's the same thing as saying x, because it's the same base, and the same thing as saying 5 minus 2. So that means it's the same thing as saying x to the power of 3. Or you could have said, you know, the 5 and the 2, sort of the, the 2 cancels out two of these. I mean, there's lots of ways of looking at it, but this is, this is a nice generic rule that I think works really well. It really explains a lot of things for us. Now let's maybe do some more. So we have another rule. This time we have an exponent or sort of uh, to the power of something. So let's say I have a to the power of m, all that raised to the power of n. That's different. See, before we were doing a to the power of m times a to the power of n. This time I say a to the power of m to the power of n. And that's going to be equal to a to the power of m times n. So that's this rule. So sort of a, a power to a power means you multiply these numbers here. So let's do an example. Maybe we say y to the power of 4 and all that to the power of 5. Well, that's going to be y to the power of 4 times 5. So that's the same thing as saying y to the power of 20. That's the same thing. So just to give you an example of how we can use these. And also we can do sort of splitting things. So we can say a times b to the power of n that's the same thing as saying a to the power of n times b to the power of n. That's another useful one. That one's actually fairly commonly used here. So a to the n, b to the n. So an example, now here I'll give you a really nice complicated one. Here. So we'll do a really rough one, uh, or at least maybe rough looking. We'll do x squared y cubed. Let's do all that to the power of 4. Let's see. Well, if I do that, that's the same thing as saying x squared to the fourth. 
right? Because I'm splitting it here. I'm saying it's this, this times this to the power of this is the same as this to the this times this to the this. In this case, x squared to the power of 4 times y cubed to the power of 4. See, the reason I gave you this one is because now this is a combo. Now I have to also deal with it, uh, you know, x squared to the power of 4. So now I'm going to use this rule here. x squared to the power of 4 is the same thing as saying x to the power of 2 times 4, which is 8. And y to the power of 3 to the power of 4 is the same thing as saying y to the power of 3 times 4, which is 12, because I'm using this rule as well.